name is Laura Posada. I'm a second year resident at the Orthodontic Division at the University of Connecticut. Well, I was, I think, eight years old when I went to, when I, I started like realizing that I was going to visit my dentist and, and I like First, I liked my dentist and I liked what she was doing. And eventually when I went to high school and I had to make my own decisions, I, I knew that uh, I was good in like with arts and with science. And I think dentistry was a, a compliment. It was a, like um, a, a career that I, I can have both of them. So it was like something I, I liked it from, from, from very young. I would say dentistry is a very is a general uh, field. Um, I enjoy a lot of the part of the restorative part, the aesthetics, and I was actually good in root canals and things that people don't like it, but I, I enjoy them. Um, and it was good that during my training I have the exposure to to do some shadows in in the orthodontic clinic and that's why basically I did I, I have more my like more interest in in being an orthodontist. Orthodontics um, it has basically two reasons. One is that uh, I like the changes that you can see in, in the patient. Um, you can go for minor alignment to extensive tooth movement and you can see, you can make impact on the, on the function and the smile and the profile of the patients. And as I mentioned before, the aesthetics is something that I, I'm, I'm passionate about. So that's something I, I can see daily. And that's part of the goals when you have ortho treatment. Uh, the other reason is that the thought process, um, you, based in biomechanics, you have to move teeth, and you need to know where to apply the forces. That part is very, is 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 amazing. It's the is the neatest part of the of of our of our of orthodontics, um, and that's why basically I I, I choose um, orthodontics. Also, the type of patients you are working, you're working with young people, healthy, and all. Um, and right now we are getting more and more like adult patients coming and demanding for ortho ortho treatment. So. It's, it's very, very good. In our world, as you, um, there are multiple pathways to to treat a case, and the challenge is to um, the challenge is to find the efficient system to move teeth. So when you, based on the principles of biomechanics, when you know where to apply a force. You get less side effects, uh, treatment in like a short treatment, and you can get good results. So I think that's the that's the part, that's the part that I enjoy the most. I had a different experience because I'm a foreign trainer, and in my country I have in dental school I have a clinic that it was just only for ortho. So my experience is a little different. I know, even though it was just once uh, a week, and and I know, and, and part of my reason why I finished dental school and then I moved to AGD um, is because I wanted to make sure I was completely a hundred percent sure that I was going. I want to choose a specialty that I like. So I did the AGD program uh, because I wanted to strengthen my skills as a general dentist. I wanted to be sure that uh, I that was my that was the, the choice I wanted to do it. But then I realized that uh, ortho was more for me. Even though dentistry, um, I like dentistry. I'm the one who likes to. I don't. I don't mind to see blood or no. I like dentistry, but. It was a, it's, now it's a compliment, like knowing 
and the steps that my other colleagues has to do it and working with them uh, and knowing what they're going through I think is is good that uh, I did first I had the experience first as a general dentist and then moved to ortho. AGD, I, I completed a two years program, uh, the um, AGD program at UConn, and that as that helped me to see what I was able to do. I have to work in complex uh, treatments. I was in treating medically um, compromised patients, and I I had to kind of like think about what I wanted to do it and I say I, I say to myself okay you want to do ortho what you have to do orthodontic programs are very competitive so I in my case my personal case I decided to take some time off and retake my boards and to increase my chances to get into the program um, fortunately I everything will uh, well, well, and I I got accepted in the program, and I started uh, two years ago, and it's it's tough because you finish one uh, cycle of your life and you think, okay, now I can be like a normal people, going out, work, um, thinking about getting a house, car, but then you you have to stop and say okay now this is my life and and this start going back to school um, attending master classes treating patients and after long days you have to go home do extra work but everything is worth it and everything becomes like you want to be well trained and you're going to go outside and feel comfortable whatever you're doing so i think it's a long pathway but I think if you love what you're doing, it wouldn't matter. My best advice is to choose whatever you enjoy doing. Don't go because financially you're gonna be better. I think the best is to to do what is passion. I mean, what you enjoy to do it. Um, and if it's hard to, to reach that dream, just work hard, work, 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 it will be worth it.